Today we are going to look at resistor and ohm's law. We will get over resistor first, which will be helpful in understanding ohm's law. So what is resistor? Resistor is one of the most commonly used electronic components. It's mainly used to limit the current flow. It comes in many different shapes and sizes. It may look like this or this or these. They also have many different resistance values too. Now where will limiting the current flow be useful? To understand this, we will look at this simple example. Lighting an LED. We are using a 5mm LED which needs 20 milliampere and a 9 volt battery which supplies about 500 milliampere. So if I connect the LED directly, it will get damaged and it will not work. Now we will see why exactly did the LED burn. This battery supplies about 9 volts and about 500 milliampere. This LED on the other hand needs only about 20 milliampere to light up. So when 500 milliampere passes through the LED, it burns out. This is where we use resistor. Now I will add this resistor between the battery and the LED. Now the LED lights up properly. It limits current to 20 milliampere. This is an example of use of resistor. Resistors come in many different resistance values. How will we find the perfect resistor for the job? This is where we use Ohm's law. Before going into all the calculations, we will take a look at what the law states. The law states that electric current is proportional to voltage and inversely proportional to resistance. That means in this circuit, if we increase the voltage by replacing this with this, the current will also increase. But if we replace this resistor with a bigger one, the current will decrease. We can get this equation from this definition. I current is proportional to voltage and inversely proportional to resistance. Now let's get into the calculation. We have this equation I is equal to V by R. We need to find resistance. So we apply some basic math and get this equation R is equal to V by I. Now let's get back to the circuit. Here we have the battery. It will give 9 volts and about 500 milliampere. Here we have an LED which has forward voltage of about 2 volts. This means it will drop the voltage by 2 volts. We will get over this in the later episodes. It also needs about 20 milliampere of current. So now to find resistance, we will do this maths. V or voltage is 9 volts from the battery minus the 2 volts from the forward voltage of LED. I is the current we need, so it's 20 milliampere which is 0.02 amperes. Now if you do the math, you will get the resistance. You can now buy a resistor with resistance closest to your calculations. Here it is 330 ohms. So how will you identify the 330 ohms resistor from these? This will be our next episode. Hope you like the video guys. If you are still not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to the channel. Like and share the video if you liked it. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Have a great day.